Professor <coughs> Raj Singh Ji, our Honorable and Worthy Vice Chancellor, Professor S. D. Sharma, and Professor Hendricks, Christian Hendricks, a galaxy of eminent uh, positive psychologists, mental health experts, uh, doctoral research students coming from DU, uh, JNU, uh, PG, uh, Chandigarh, BHU, several universities and premier institutions, ladies and gentlemen. I have no words to describe my uh, joy and feelings. In fact, our <coughs> founder president, uh, Honorable Ashok Johanji, when I asked him to write a message for the conference, then when I started reading his uh, message, my eyes danced with joy. And I read the lines till I was satisfied, reading and re reading and reading. And what an opening, what an opening. That is, what an idea about <laughs> conceptualizing the concept of uh, or organizing the positive psychology. And when you yourself will see, <laughs> you know, we, uh, we have to keep many things in our sleeves. I cannot give you everything. <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> Actually, that was the moment, terrific moment. And then I, we were getting, Vice Chancellor was telling me, then another mail, then another mail, then another mail. <laughs> and mail after mail. And another, the thing was that, well, our Amitian said, from Noida, they are coming in not hundreds, but several hundreds. <laughs> and now the faculty members and the entire, uh, entire, you know, flow and the movement was all positive, all positive. In fact, I was, as usual, I thought that now this is not time to come for livelihood, to start something. I was sharing with Professor Mukandan, who came here in a forensic uh, uh, kind of uh, I think conference there in police department. I met him short while, <laughs> and then when he reached to Bangalore, then I was sharing with him that I am uh, joining this uh, university. So, I thought that I should do something for life. And of course, there was something in my subconscious mind, maybe in unconscious mind, I'm not that good as I appear to be. There were so many problems, actually. <laughs> and I agree with Sigmund Freud that we are full of problems. And if you, some, I think we have a top-ranking psychoanalyst, I mean, sorry, a hypnotherapist, and if you analyze me, you will find so many things. So I refuse not to be hypnotized. <laughs> but then today I, am, I will request you, I will request you, somehow you have to get Dalai Lama here, otherwise I, I might. Suicide is a very good thing, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Because when one woman went to uh, Viktor Frankl, a professor, I want to commit suicide, and you wrote that, uh, that you, before you commit suicide, Please come to me. So I have come to. So I want to commit suicide. Then he, then he said, well, in what way I should help you? The doctor, you will not feel bad about it. I have no reasons. Who will feel bad about it? I don't know. Oh, my husband feel very happy when I commit suicide. <laughs> but my two daughters, you know, they will stand nowhere. So, uh, doctor, I don't want to commit suicide. Doctor, I don't want to commit suicide. Positive people don't commit suicide. Let me tell you, uh, Dr. Vyas. <laughs> the point is, the point remains, you can understand my feeling. And I did talk to you about Dalai Lama that time. That was the starting point, Dalai Lama. Because when Daniel Goldman came to Dalai Lama here in India, what a beautiful book they have written, Distractive Emotions. And Cutler, when he came, a psychiatrist, <laughs> he came uh, from USA, and then I was thinking that maybe like Siv Kheda or something like that and help books and something, something, something. But then he was so much hypnotized and a book was written, The Art of Happiness. The Art of Happiness, Dalai Lama and that is there the happy, happiness lies. So the most important part of our life is
So in this vein of happiness, now we have our Chancellor Asim Ji, and I am telling you that I am just like a silent uh, instrument, musical instrument. But it was, you know, striked by our Vice Chancellor Raj Singh Ji. Then I started and thought of doing, giving some tunes here and there. And then I was thinking, let's have a conference. And I, I'm very, very grateful and thankful to our Chancellor uh, Asim Chohan Saab. He said, why not international? Then I said, I remember vividly, you know, for a short while. Because hardly he has a time, <laughs> but he has a time for me and for good ideas, no doubt. <laughs> and then he said, why not, why not make it international? Then I said, it's very expensive. Expensive in the sense, you know, travel grants from, you know, <laughs> air, air travel and all that. And then, you know, I was just thinking, it gone deep down in my subconscious mind. <laughs> and yes, international. Well, then it started with international. Actually, I am very thankful you, sir, for that. So now, international conference. I never thought that it will take this shape. Actually, we should not think, because life is mystery to believe in, not problems to solve. You solve one problem, there is another problem looming large on your head. But this does not mean you should not focus on problems. Anyway, uh, I was in the trance of positive psychology, and I am very thankful to Sajjan Singh Ji, and I am quoting him, and that is where I started this conference, because we have had an uh, NGO, you know, what you call it, Global Foundation for Human Health, hu Global Foundation for 4-H, Human Health, Happiness, and Harmony. And health, of course, we are talking in terms of the physical health, the social health, physical health, social health, emotional health, and of late, spiritual health. The all, all kind of dimensions are included in WHO. So we thought of this NGO and I, it was wonderful. I thought of Chinmay Mission and Sajjan Singh Ji with his team. They came to Jaipur and we had wonderful things. But my pocket was very tight and we had no money. And the total bill came of 81,000 rupees. The Golcha Saab came. Oh, this is a wonderful idea. Aging gracefully. That was the main theme. Aging gracefully. So then, what happened that time? I will be short, sir. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> so, uh, because this is a trance of a history, not history, a trance <laughs> of positive psychology. So, <laughs> then Golcha Saab came, Natha Saab 51,000. This is nothing, but, and still short of 31,000, because, you know, we have senior citizens coming with very good, you know, uh, T-shirts, as you have seen Vice Chancellor in the evening and telling Vice Chancellor, <laughs> Vice Chancellor. <laughs> I, I, one one wonder, wonderful thing I have seen here in this university, all the directors come with T-shirts in the evening. That is a <laughs> good change. I like it very much. I, I, I also thought of, I, I have brought one or two, t you know, <laughs> that kind of, <laughs> but I will not use it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so then I know, char one chartered accountant said 31,000 he also gave. So, sir, you remember uh, Sajjan Singh Ji, then we had that program for six days and our senior season coming very smart and the type of food we were giving is very, very appropriate to health psychology, all, you know, fruits and all and what not and all good things. Anyway, so actually uh, we were thinking about this, so I will be brief and then I should take the help of my write-up for the overview of the uh, conference. So, uh, actually, we are in trance of uh, positive psychology. Be positive, think positive, live positively. The whole world is in the grip of the movement of positivism. There is a valid reason. All other paths and uh, devices have ultimately failed miserably to change our focus from helplessness to hopelessness. Positive psychology focuses on cultivating personality, strength, and homing an optimistic approach to life uh, rather than cataloging human uh, negativism and disease which Seligman says he has been too long been the focus of clinical psychology. It is rightly believed that optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope or confidence. 
I have been writing on the concept similar to, uh, you know, these things, and then happiness is the main area of positive psychology. So <coughs> this was a part of our editorials in the past, Psychological Wellbeing and Meditation in 1996, Value-Based Quality of Life in 1997, SQ as Indi Indicator of uh, Psychological Wellbeing in 2000, IQ, EQ and SQ, rel Relative Importance in 2001, and in search of GQ 2002. Whenever I meet our Chancellor, then he, he always reminds me of GQ. <laughs> SQ is all right, but the GQ, the God question. <laughs> anyway, so this I was writing and then I thought it is all theoretical and this, uh, you know, theoretical kind of things, this luxury cannot be afforded by, you know, persons of management, you know. We psychologists talk of Maslow, we talk of many things, but when it comes to practice, it is, you know, properly done by HRD people and all that. So I thought that now this is the time, because I have very infantile age in this university, but parenting is good, encouragement is good, and I am getting mature fast. Actually, Seligman talks of few <laughs> traits, 24 and all that, but now we have, I think, a hundred, uh, hundred <laughs> you know, attributes and traits, so things were going on and a good number of my students now, they are, I said I am no longer a clinical psychologist. No. Whether RCI says or anyone says, but I am not a clinical psychologist. The disease model, absolutely not. I have to talk something different. Because you know, more than anyone else, even the depressed person, suicidal person also need happiness. And our approach has to be a little different. So thanks to Seligman that he started this movement in 1998 and, he, and then his other uh, associate, I used to pronounce it diner, but I heard it's dinner, but I don't know who is the lunch. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, things were going like that and then I accumulated a lot of information and I have my wonderful associate with me, Dr. Geeti Tanka, she is with me for many, many years. 15 years or more, then we have Vineet, uh, we three, three is a good number actually, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, Rajogun, Tamogun, Satogun, all kinds, three is wonderful, many people take it <laughs> in a different way and the things were going very well. So we thought of writing and then, you know, Amethian culture, full of electronic, latest things, and then encouragement for talent, and you, can, you cannot tolerate <laughs> any kind of other things. So, so the things were going very well, the things were properly set and we were working on these lines as, but then I found there is a vast panorama of, vast panorama of this positive psychology in India, in our ethos. Not only in Hindu view of life what Radha Krishnan says and others, so this thing kind of things were there, but Max Muller when he came, we Indians are uh, if I will have second birth, I should have in India, but problem with India is they are very idealistic, not practical. So what happens though, I thought that I was also, a, you know, being a professor, I have to talk about all these things, this and that, rank and file and talk about all these things, but where is the practice? So I found Amethi University, uh, this Rajasthan is, uh, uh, yes, yes, there's so many ideas <laughs> in conscious, subconscious, at conscious level, cognitive psychology. Now it is possible to do it. It's possible to do it. So next conference when we are going to it, it will be more practical, more applied kind of things. So I was thinking like that and we have invited articles, keynote speakers, and these keynote speakers are professors of eminence. I think I have not seen any conference, such galaxy of professors. Even I attended a conference at Acapulco, Mexico. You know, that conference takes place once in four years, International Congress of Psychology, but I did not find this galaxy of professors. I am very proud of this university that this is possible here. And it is possible. Seligman will say, I will be very happy to be here in this university to deliver the talk. So Dalai Lama, Seligman, all these, these, these are our, you know, our intentions, things will go very well. So we are talking different dimensions of positive psychology, like meditation, yoga, value-based quality of life, uh, including uh, different kind of things, you see, uh, because I should not take more time, because I'm uh, not scared. 
but then <laughs> I am <laughs> become more disciplined when our chancellor comes. <laughs> so I welcome you all, and uh, I uh, because we have doing little bit here, and we are 35 kilometers away. That is not important. What is important is that spiritually, psychologically, emotionally, we belong to you. We very near to you, and this is not a three days three day conference. It will go a long way. The message is for long, and it's a mission. I am very happy. Our ex vice chancellor, Professor uh, Uday Jain, he is my colleague. He was my colleague at Rajasthan University. Mukandan is my class fellow. <laughs> Actually, I am very happy that all people have come just on my request. S. C. Gupta, King George Medical College, was senior to me, <laughs> and then he, then I joined him. Even he has come, and I am very happy. He has come with his wife. Excellent. <laughs> so I think the positive psychology can motivate many people to do wonders. And Amethian, we Amethians, I think, can promise and we can do. We can change the world for good things. So I thank you all. I welcome you all, and I am ready for you for any service. But it should be spiritual. It should be meaningful. It should have some purpose. Thank you all. Thank you very much.